Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius May 7, 2022. Today's Sun-Neptune alignment illuminates your dream for more ideal conditions, and possibly also areas of waste or disappointment, depending on your current situation. It can be an inspired time for creative business or practical ideas and interesting ideas that catch on. It makes sense to be more careful with spending and lending. You might consider whether your current projects, pursuits, and needs are in line with your spiritual needs and values, and if not, seek ways to make improvements. This transit is a tension diffuser, and as things slow down, you look at your life from a different perspective, questioning the things you automatically assume are priorities. In terms of love, there are no good expectations for today. You may even experience a breakup because Uranus passes through the fifth house, the house of pleasures. It is better to take a vacation and value the aspects favoring you. Today you will be surrounded by genuine love and affection. Friends, family, and a very special romantic partner will pay more attention to you than usual. A group activity or other social event will put you and your crush in contact with interesting people who could become your friends. Much information is exchanged, including potential important business contacts names and phone numbers. Have fun. You are very sensitive. Even after many years of living together, you still feel butterflies deep in your stomach. With your spouse, you are on the same footing of equality, creating extraordinary complicity. If you are single, you will tend to imagine the future from the first kisses. Take your time to establish some confidence. Love is the strongest of all passions, it attacks the head, the heart and the body simultaneously. Before you continue investing in this romantic partnership, the cosmos is encouraging you to check in with yourself and reflect on the, hidden, motivations behind your desires. Single for the time being? You are no exception. But by that same token, there is more room for you to go inward and make peace with some of the energies you need to work through. Given the moon's harmonious trine to the sun, celestial ruler of your relationship sector, and Neptune in Pisces via your second house of value systems this could revolve around your sense of security. Is there a mutual give and take in your connection? How do you feel about your finances? With the sun conjunct Neptune in watery Pisces today, you may feel a bit more emotionally invested in your money matters and security. The conjunction can evoke strong feelings that may fluidly come throughout the day. You may feel more hopeful about your money, too, as the mystical Pisces energy encourages an idealistic perspective of your finances. If anything, make sure you maintain a realistic perception. Neptune's energy can be overly rosy, so you mustn't lose your objectivity or rationality. At the same time that the sun moves into his final seven days in your income sector, the moon is wrapping up a visit to your work sector that not only put them at a friendly aspect but to other forces on the job and career fronts. As well as leaving you with an intuitive read on work and job matters this allows you to move into these final seven days with confidence. Intensify contacts to people, because they find you particularly likable right now. Plan your leisure time with family and good friends and most importantly, make your plans together. You might feel like ringing up an old friend, the time is perfect to revive and strengthen old ties. This will make it easy for you to make new contacts and maybe even lifelong friendships. Learn something. Take a trip to a new town or explore your favorite neighborhood galleries to see what's new. This is not the time to feel sorry for yourself. If you long to find someone to share your life, give yourself every opportunity to meet someone new. This is not a time for dreaming but to make your dreams a reality. Be courageous, get out and socialize, forget thoughts of past loves and look eagerly to the future. There are days where even you don't want adventure, and with today's planetary alignment, this is probably one of them. Your sense of humor is likely to be downright dormant. Perhaps your expansive nature has gone inward, and you feel the need to reflect on the times gone by and the times on the road ahead. There is much to be gained by going inward. Try yoga to help support the process. 
you're sure to feel raring to go where work is concerned. However, if you've been feeling tired or drained lately, it's probably because you need a break from all the pressures in your life. Too much focus on responsibilities can wear anyone out. A good sleep can help your body, but some laughter and socializing with your favorite people can rejuvenate your spirits. Make some plans for yourself once you've handled the big stuff. Our eyes in the sky. It isn't a time in which we conform to the ideals and status quo of society. To be honest, it's the opposite of that. At the forefront of our hearts and minds for the next 30 days will be humanitarian acts of kindness, generosity, and the notion of unconditional caring for humankind. This is also a time of revolution and technological advances. We can expect some news of pending changes that could transform our world for the better and help us evolve as human beings. Radical beliefs could shift your consciousness to better align with what is happening in the world and your personal life as well as your current ideals and views, not those you believed in the past. The nagging feeling that we have misjudged someone or something dampens our confidence, and much as we try to pinpoint rationale that would give our conclusion credence, the more it eludes us. Our imagination can run wild now, which is not such a bad thing if we funnel our creative energy into a spiritual practice or a meditative or artistic exercise. Once this transit passes, we might even surprise ourselves with the inspired works we've produced during a time when we felt so out of sorts. In the evening, the sun exits grounded, pragmatic, and success-oriented Capricorn for the terrain of Cosmic Innovator. At this time, we build on the legacies we established during Capricorn season, but with experimentation and collaboration in mind. This is a season for outreach, networking, and showing off our originality. Letting our inner nonconformist out to play finds us meeting those with similarly eccentric interests, pastimes, and social views. Over the next month, we are less concerned with tradition or fitting into the crowd. We know that deviating from convention and owning our unique point of view is how we can make progress, not only for our own sake, but for the good of our communities. If placed in a leadership position, we will prioritize tenets like freedom of expression, ingenuity, and defying limitation over taking the safe approach. After sunup, the moon enters Cancer ending its void of course which began early last night. At this time, we wish to offer care to others as an extension of our own subconscious needs for nurturance. Without support in return, we can become moody and ill-tempered. It is a good time to ask ourselves what we need from our loved ones, but since our emotions are at the mercy of the tides, we also want to avoid guilt-tripping or gaslighting others as a reaction to feeling denied. 